So now that we've made our second shot on paper, we're gonna go ahead and shoot a three shot group to try to get an average. What you wanna do is take the center of that group and get it in the center of your aiming point. One thing to keep in mind, if you're getting really sporadic groups, like really large size, you may wanna think about bullet choice or even just going over your rifle to make sure everything's nice and snug. So we're gonna have Nick shoot that three shot group now and we'll make our adjustments if needed. All right, so now that we shot three shots, I'm gonna have Nick kind of describe what he's seeing in the scope and maybe the adjustments he needs to make for you. So looking down the scope, I see three shots. One is high and two are a little low and left. So based off of my point of aim, I'm still measuring from my point of aim to the point of impact, to the center of the point of all those impacts. And I'm gonna make my fine tuned adjustments there. Once I made my fine tuned adjustments, I'm gonna go to a more refined aiming point on the paper and again, test my group. So looking at my group and my point of aim, I am or a half MOA low and one MOA left. So I'll make those proper adjustments. he's doing that if you guys just have a crosshair scope there's a lot of scopes on the market that still use just a fine crosshair you can judge your distance in inches that's a very easy way to do it so if you're four inches left or two inches up you can use that same method you don't have to have all of the information in the scope to do that so once I've made my corrections I'm going to go to a more refined aiming point on the paper All right, so now that we've got a nice tight zero, we're gonna go ahead and remove the top screw from the scope, go ahead and lift the turret cap off and insert the lock ring. So it's very easy, you just slide it in place and twist it till it stops. It does have an arrow right on the ring so you can't really mess it up. So the zero stop is set. Once that's set, you know where your zero is always gonna be. So now that we've accomplished that, the gun is zeroed and ready to hit the range. <laughs> 